my beautiful butternut squashes. I don't know why I felt like I wanted to say that just now, but I did. Good morning. Well, it's not morning for me anymore. It's definitely one o'clock and um, I had zero plans of vlogging today, but I have so many errands to run. I had a moment where I was like, dang, I wish that I wasn't doing this alone. Like, do y'all ever get those moments? But I have a lot of stuff to do today. I just did a massive closet clean out. I was talking about it in my previous vlog and I finally did it. And with that, I sold a whole bunch of clothes on Mercari and a lot of people bought stuff, which I was completely and totally shocked about. I thought that not a lot of people were gonna buy stuff, but I had these massive piles of clothes in my room. So I packed them all up this morning. That's what I've been doing literally since I got up was I packaged all of the orders. I printed out all of the printing labels and I am now at USPS, UPS, I have orders at both. I am pretty sure that UPS partners with USPS, so I'm able to ship everything out while I'm here. So the rest of the clothes that were on Mercari, I'm actually going to take them down because I can't see in the pile of clothes in my room anymore. I do not have a lot of space in my room, so I am just gonna donate those to Goodwill and I have a whole bunch of clothes also from that clean out that I was gonna donate to Goodwill anyway, so I legit have three massive bags that I'm donating. That is what I'm doing for the first part of today. There are also a few other little errands that I need to run, one of them being to Plato's Closet. I also need to go to Target because guess who ran out of deodorant? Ugh. Um, Disgusting, I know. <laughs> right now I'm actually using my like travel deodorant, the one that I take on like vacation and stuff. <laughs> So we need to fix that today. And then I also need to get my nails done because these rainbow Mickeys were cute, but they are grown out. And actually one of my nails broke on one of my hands. I don't wanna show you guys cause it's like, you know, trigger warning, whatever. This whole laundry basket is just full of packages that I'm sending out. And then I have these two massive garbage bags. In my back seat, I have a package that actually is UPS. That stuff I'm actually gonna try and sell at Plato's Closet. And then I have another bag that I'm donating right here. Well, with a bra on top, that's lovely, but I have three huge bags. So we're gonna go do this right now. Okay, y'all, part one of everything is done. I dropped off everything at UPS as well as I dropped off everything at my Goodwill because those two stores are actually side by side in this little complex. So I was able to do it in all one sweep. Thank God, and I, love the UPS workers at my store. Like they helped me so much whenever my boyfriend was deployed and I was sending care packages. They would literally help me package absolutely everything. They gave me discounted prices. Like I love them. They remember me. They remember everything that I've shipped and like it, I just love it. Makes me feel so welcomed and at home. And then this good, this Goodwill, the lady that was working in this Goodwill was so freaking nice. Like, uh, Love her. I just realized I haven't eaten lunch and I have been cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs about Firehouse Subs recently. I don't know. If you live in the Southeast, then you know about Firehouse Subs. That's the only thing that sounds good right now. So I'm gonna go get Firehouse Subs and then we'll do a little mukbang. I feel like I have a lot on my mind today and I feel like I just need to talk. So let's do that. And then God said, let there be a drive through Firehouse and he did it. Welcome to Firehouse, can I take your order? Hey, can I please get a medium hook and ladder on wheat? You want everything on that sandwich? Can I get no tomato? And then can you make it a medium combo with the um, the sparkling cherry limeade? And what kind of tips for you? Can I do the salt and vinegar? Yes, ma'am. All right, what else can I get for you? That's gonna be it today. Honey, baby, they are out here doing lawn work today. I don't know why, because honey, the grass is dead. <laughs> okay, we've had like two cold fronts in the last week. Like the high last Monday was 49. Okay, the grass is dead. Ah, we're back in the car. I mean, we've been in the car literally the entire time. I got my firehouse. Um, It was, $11 total, cause honey, I rounded up. I rounded up for those firefighters. Look at this, look at this beauty. 
Look at oh, oh, oh. I get it on wheat, by the way. <gasps> it smells so good. Hi, I love you. I hope you don't mind for this little like mukbang situation. I'm like, I'm here for it, I'm down. This is my cherry limeade. Sparkling only. I don't know, what do y'all wanna talk about? It's more so what do I wanna talk about? Um, I did an Instagram Q and A last night and um, everybody was being so nice to me and it just makes me realize and it always puts into perspective like just how thankful I am that like I'm in a place where I have worked really hard to like find connections with people online. I, I don't know, just like find like-minded people online, which has been really, really difficult. Especially people that love Disney and like just love, I don't know, life in general, you know? Um, but last night the Q&A that I posted, I keep, I keep switching my thing. But last night, like the Q&A that I posted, people asked me like legit questions <laughs> and like asked me a lot of questions like they want to know, wanted to know about like my personal life and then my, my life before I like started all of my Disney stuff. They wanted to know about like church stuff, ministry stuff. They wanted to know about me and my boyfriend and like, it's just so fun being in those moments and like, it's just crazy that like people online care about me. I know that that's like, I know that that's like something weird to say, but like it's still something that I haven't fully comprehended yet that like people online like me. <laughs> I don't know. I truly love a good hook and ladder. This just like, uh, one thing that I posted on my Q and A that a lot of people were shocked by was I posted about how somebody asked like what I'm really proud of myself for. So I went on to say like I'm really proud of myself that like I've walked away from a lot of unhealthy stuff. You know, I've let go of a lot of things that didn't serve me anymore and like I'm really proud of myself for doing that. I don't know, y'all Y'all just know I like keeping it real. So like whenever I said that I'm proud of myself for that um, and then I went on to say that like my life is not glamorous. <laughs> Within the last year I've had to process like a lot of hurt and a lot of pain that's been freeing but it's also been like super painful and it's put my life into perspective and like I've just been very very reflective recently on my life. I don't know if any of you guys feel the same way. So many people were just like, oh my God, I had no idea. Honestly, incredible to me. And obviously I need to work on it that like I need to show how not glamorous my life is. Like literally I'm eating firehouse in my car, talking to a camera, <laughs> like, as much as this seems like it's super glamorous, like y'all don't see that like I'm literally parked in a parking lot eating a sandwich in my car talking to a camera because I, I want company today. Like when you say it like that, you're like, okay sis, like are you okay? And in all reality, like yeah, I'm okay. Did I have a mental breakdown last Sunday? Absolutely. Um, but you know, I want to try my hardest to be the best that I can be. And unfortunately that means that I'm going to go through a lot of pain and a lot of trials. And I just, you know, I want to share that with people. Cause like, as much as I have a Disney platform, like I have a life, you know what I'm saying? That is what my YouTube channel is for. To show y'all like my life with Disney. But back to my mental breakdown from last Sunday. It was literally just about, I kind of mentioned it in my last vlog, like I just hate my room. I literally hate my room. I hate the decor in my room. I hate it. Um, and I get in these moods not often where I just end up hating everything. And like, I, I really do think that it's because like, I had this moment where I was like, I'm leaving everything in 2020 behind. Like, 
I am moving forward. I am evolving as a person. And I really do think that like I'm evolving like my sense of style in terms of like interior design as well as just like in my everyday life, you know? So I got to a point, hated my room, still hate my room. And um, I'm trying to think of ways that I could possibly update it. So what I did is I actually flipped my quilt over. So now it's all white. And there are actually these two pillows at Walmart right now that I think are like $7 a pop. So I think I'm gonna go get those or there's a home goods over here. Like I just need some sort of something on my bed. And one of the biggest things that I've realized and like I've reflected on is I just want the color tan more everywhere. Like I want creams, I want tans, like I want rich colors um, in my room and just like around in my life also i got to a point that i was like shannon stop saying i can't afford it and start saying how can i afford it so what did i do i started on shipped i deliver groceries to people now and i've been doing it for the last three weeks like i just thought to myself money is available to me money is abundant Therefore, I need to look at it that way. So I need to go out and find it so that I can bring it into my life and just like push things out. So I started on shipped and I started making shipped orders. And now I have a little bit of financial cushion to be able to possibly go out and buy some certain things. I also did that full closet clean out. Yes, I needed to do a closet clean out, but I was like, how can I afford to buy a whole new wardrobe or like how can I afford to buy certain pieces that I want let me just sell the pieces that I already have you know like I need to get back into the thought process of not I can't afford it but I need to start saying how can I afford it but yeah literally that was last Sunday I just got to a point where I was like I hate this <laughs> I feel like everybody does that like everybody just gets into a place where they just hate everything so trying new things guys and it makes me happy because that means that I'm growing and evolving as a person that I don't want to stay in one place I want to grow I want to evolve I want to get new things um which is good I should be in that place but yes please let me know if y'all ever get in those moods love to know that I'm not crazy I don't think I am but now I'm actually in the parking lot at Target Target right there, home goods over there. I'm a roll into both. I'm so ready. Why are there seagulls on this side of town? Somebody please tell me. Um, I didn't know that it was going to be like a situation when I came here. Okay, wow, that's a lot, that's a lot. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do this one. I love Dove, but there's like, there's a lot going on over here. I normally get the cucumber one, but again, I'm just in that mood where I don't feel like having the same stuff. So I'm trying a different scent. I'll probably end up hating it, but we'll see. They also have these like Dove refillables, but I also don't understand because this thing is $15, but two refills is $10, which is more than a regular deodorant. So like, what's the point? I get it, we're like reducing waste, whatever. But for somebody that's looking at the cost, I don't want to pay more for something that's just going to inconvenience me. I don't know. That's just my brain. Done at Target. Um, and I will show you guys what I got at Target later in the vlog. But now we are at the land of the free, the home of the brave, guys. Home goods. Let's see what we can find in here. These seagulls, man. All right, you guys, we found the aisle that we're looking for. I figured with my bed that I could do some cute throw pillows. I honestly love this one. Look at that. The rich colors that I want, like the tan and the brown. How much is it? I bet this is 
Yep. $20. So let's keep looking. So I figured that I could do two larger square pillows like these, you know? And then do one like long rectangular pillow. I think that that would be really cute, right? Back home, back in my dirty room. Um, yeah, that's real life. So top priority right now is I need to change. I mean, these boots that I got from H&M, jeans are from American Eagle, top is from Zara, earrings are from Target, super cheap, you know what I'm saying? But we have quite a few things to unbox, so I am going to change, then I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Target, home goods, and then I also have a FabFitFun box. Um, I haven't received one of those in like forever, so I'm actually really excited about this. Um, completely forgot what I ordered in it, so, Let's figure it out, guys. Okay, quick little haul of what I got. Um, because there are a few things that, like, I wasn't expecting on getting, but I got, because Target does that to you. You know what I mean? Um, I stayed under $50, though, which I'm really proud of. So, the first thing that you, oh, that would be a receipt. Um, the first thing that I got was the Dove Advanced Care Caring Coconut Scent. It smells good. Um, but I personally love Dove products for deodorant, so did get that. Um, I did see those refillable ones, which I was super confused about, but I'm excited to try that. Um, and then the next thing that I got in the beauty section was these Mighty Patches. I have heard so many things, specifically on TikTok about these, um, that apparently whenever you get a zit, you put one of these Mighty Patches on it and it brings all of like the gunk up to the surface um, for it to eventually go away. So I'm very excited about it because I have had a little friend on my cheek and I wish that I had a Mighty Patch so that it would go away. But we're gonna try these. Um, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I have no idea. I don't know if that's actually gonna work. But this next thing is what I'm so excited about because I've been looking at this little display for so long. It is the Function of Beauty um, shampoo and conditioner. I got the straight hair because when I blow dry my hair, my hair is straight typically. So I got the base of straight. So you pick your base based on what type of hair that you have, whether that is straight, curly, wavy, or coarse. And then on top of that, I don't know how this is gonna go, but you know how Function of Beauty normally has it like curated to what you want your shampoo and conditioner, what you want your shampoo and conditioner to do. They also have these little like pods that you put in your shampoo and conditioner. So I got three. I got the color protection boost booster shots, function of beauty color protection booster shots. So this is the number five because I do have colored hair. The second one that I got was the function of beauty smooth, soothe scalp booster shots, which, um, this is the one that I got because I do have dandruff. I have dry scalp. So I'm hoping that this works because right now I'm actually having to shampoo my hair twice while I'm in the shower, which is something that you should be doing if you have a lot of buildup. But I have actually been doing head and shoulders and then using my Kristen S. So we'll see if this works. Um, and then for my last one, I got the Function of Beauty Thermal Protection Booster Shots. So I'm curious, it says that you buy your base you buy the shots. So the bases were both $10. Yes, the bases were both $10. And then these are $3. So I am assuming that it has a booster shot, one for your shampoo and one for your conditioner. Ooh. Okay, so it has a thermal protection for shampoo and then a thermal protection for conditioner. One for shampoo, one for conditioner, which it's like a, it's like a water in here like legit it's like water whoa okay so i have my bag on the ground i'm going to open up my shampoo 
that smells so good no cap not sponsored wow i can't even it has a fresh scent yet still fruity it's kind of like a like a passion fruit coconut sort of smell but it also has a little hint of like floral to it not sure what kind of floral but okay so now we are going to take the top <gasps> It got on my Madewell bag. No, 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 no! We're now going to dump it and squeeze it into our shampoo, which it's, oh, it feels like this is struggling. Okay, there is the thermal protection all in there. All right. I wonder how many pods you can put into your shampoo and conditioner. I felt like three was good. And then we're gonna shake the day away. We're gonna make sure it gets all throughout these bottles. I will shake some more later because we have more things to show you. I did buy two massive bed pillows. They're huge. I thought that these, they're huge. I thought that they would look really cute on my bed so um we will put those on my bed after i would like to put them through the dryer for about 30 minutes to kill off um any sort of germs that are on it before i actually put it up there by my pillows but i thought that these were cute they're like a cream tan color and they are embroidered so it's kind of like the quilt that i have and then actually what I want to do is I want to take the chair that I've propped you guys up on right now, which you guys have seen it a lot on like my Instagram stories and stuff. I want to move this chair over here where this mirror is because I don't use that mirror. I don't love that mirror, but there is another mirror from Ikea that I love that I want. And it's of course the one that like everybody and their mom has. Um, but I want to put it right here by my entertainment center here's my vision board um so that's what i want to do now we have the fab fit fun box this video is not sponsored by fab fit fun but i do have a campaign on tiktok with fab fit fun because i do genuinely love fab fit fun boxes i legit completely forgot what i got Ooh, are you kidding me 13 meals free with HelloFresh. I'm here for that. My code. Ooh, oh, I'm so excited. New year, new box with 2020 finally over. Now we are getting into what I ordered. Okay, so with FabFitFun, you can actually choose what you have in your box, which is incredible if you ask me. So like with this box, I'm still completely and totally in control of what is in my FabFitFun box um, for the four times of the year. So they have one in spring, summer, fall, and winter. Okay, so this, what is this? Reusable beauty rounds. Oh, I do remember. Okay, this is for, if I remember right, for getting off my makeup because I don't have that. So like whenever I'm removing my makeup, these are pads that I can use for removing my makeup and they feel really soft. I'm so down to like, just put this on my face already. I need to wash them before I put it on my face, but like I'm down. I'm excited about these. They feel really plush too. Next, Bro Alchemist Body Cream. Ay, ay, Biological Beauty, Australian Certified Australian certified toxic free through prof profound understanding. I can't talk today. That's fine. Um, ooh, ooh, look at this bottle. Y'all, look at that bottle. Oh my God. Grow Alchemist body cream. Wow. I love the packaging. Ooh, and it's one of those tops where like it's sealed, but I have to. Ooh. <gasps> I'm ready. Give it to me. Give it to me. Okay. Ooh, do not go back into the bottle. So rude. 
Ooh, citrus scent. I vibes with cent I I vibe with citrus. I'm gonna put it on my elbows to start. Um, because it's a body cream. So I don't wanna put it in areas that I might get like broken out, so I'm just gonna put it on my elbows to start. I know that that's a little weird, but that's what I do. So thick cream. Honey, she's thick. And honey, these elbows aren't ashy anymore. They're not. The next thing that I got, ooh, these super cute hair clips. I remember when I selected these, I was like, I wanna try something new. And they're cute little flower clips. Look at that. We will see where the wind takes us with these clips. But I really did wanna try something new. Tweezers, summer and rose tweezers. Honey, I need new tweezers. Ugh, I'm so thankful for these. And tweezers are expensive. Like if you get nice ones, oh, and these are cute. Wow, they're like floral. Sick. Look at that. Get you some of that action. With this cute little holder. Look at my little tweezer holder. My tweezers. Little tweezer holder. That's cute. Love. Ooh. I remember I got these for my boyfriend. I do remember. Because he was like, I need like a lit mask. And I put in my order for FabFitFun that day. And this is the Suns Out. Pouts Out, I think it is. Suns Out Pouts Out Gold Foil Lip Mask. So... My boyfriend and I will be doing these together two times over. Um, the Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Hair Mask. I love a good hair mask. This looks amazing. It's sulfate free as well, which I look for in a mask. Not necessarily um, looking for that in my shampoo and conditioner because anytime I've gone sulfate free with my shampoo and conditioner, my scalp went crazy. Ooh, it smells expensive. <laughs> smells expensive. The next thing, I got the Milk Makeup like Watermelon little kit. So let's open up the big one first. What is this? Ooh, look at that. The Milk Makeup. What is this? Brightening Face Mask. <gasps> oh, ooh. <gasps> ooh. Hit my knuckle. Wow, that feels cooling. How do you use this? This smaller box is the Watermelon Brightening Serum. I love a good serum. <sighs> no. Love good serum. And I love Milk Makeup's packaging. I have this like tiny little applicator. So cute. And it comes with a little clear plastic piece on top, which we need to take off. A little pop. Taking it off. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get off. Thank you so much. Okay. Then the serum. Ooh. Also. All right. She feels a little thick to be a serum. Yeah, that feels a little thick to be a serum for me. And then the last thing that I got is some makeup brushes. I haven't replaced my makeup brushes in a long time. It's been a long time that I have replaced any brush that I have. And look at how many, whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six brushes. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. So. I need to now come up with like a cute, fun and fresh TikTok idea to do with these products. And what I think I'm going to do with all of these, I love this packaging. I legit, I can't get over that. So cute. What I think I'm gonna do with this is actually going to be probably two separate videos. One of them is going to be like a get unready with me thing where I can do all of these products, you know, like self-care. And I can do that, like a little self-care at the end of the night. 
because those products are perfect for that. And then these, I can do a separate video where I'm doing like a get ready with me with those products and say that they came out of my FabFitFun box. This is cute. We will see how those products go. Obviously, I'm gonna stay real. I'm gonna stay honest. If like, I don't like it, then I'm not gonna use it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm a little afraid that I'm gonna fall in love with some of these products and that I'm going to be bankrupt. Everything that I got will be listed in the description down below. Full disclosure, some of those will be affiliate links. So I do make a tiny baby bit of commission based off of what you click on and what you order. So um, just to be transparent with you guys. And then I have a nail appointment at six o'clock. So in an hour and a half, I got a cute little nail appointment because my nail on the back, ooh, it started coming off. So what I'm actually going to do is going to be a pink French manicure. I've really been wanting to do a pink nail and not like a vibrant pink, obviously like a soft, more like a sunset pink. Do you know what I mean? A mauvey pink. I think that that would be really beautiful as much as like I want to do like Disney nails every single time. You know, I don't necessarily want Disney nails every single time because I feel like that's going to get kind of old. Um, so it was fun while it lasted. Hello. My little Mickey confetti nails. It was fun while it lasted and I loved y'all. But I'm going to go to Gloss the Nail Lounge in Jacksonville to get them done. Until then, I am going to pull my life together and throw some things away in my room and um, probably post a little TikTok. I'm here! I mean, I'm here getting my nails done. I go to Gloss the Nail Lounge and it's legit so cute. You will see it on my Instagram as well as on my TikTok. So I'm gonna put my camera away while I'm getting my nails done so that I can post it on those two platforms. Bye, Rainbow Mickey. I also had a crisis on the way here that I don't know what I want to do with my nails now. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Hello. I am at my boyfriend's house now. Got us a little bit of, a little bit of bento and I got my nails done. Oh God. Can you see it? Nope. Nope. There we go. A little pink French tip. But what did you get? Um chicken katsu with Japanese curry. Fancy town. And I got some form of chicken teriyaki noodle. I don't exactly know. The guy said it would be good. So we're gonna enjoy dinner now. And I'll see y'all later. All right, y'all, I'm back home. My hair is a little bit of a wreck because I'm going to go jump in the shower and sit and watch The Bachelor. That's literally my entire night. I am not going to use the Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner because it's not a wash night, but whenever I do, I will make sure to let you guys know if it's actually like a good product. <laughs> you know what I mean? But thank you guys so much for joining me on my day and I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog, this like super last minute vlog. I'm sure it felt super last minute, but I really hope that you have a great rest of your night or day whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.